It's been a while since we've seen Terrence Day do anything notable as far as uh, finishing position wise in that uh, 55 machine, but uh, a pull is certainly a good start here as he pulls away into the distance over Ty Dent, uh, who's struggling to hold off a charging Richard Trelinski and Zachary Fitzwater, who had a, a really good qualifying run for once in that 44 car, looking his way up the inside of the 83 currently, trying to make sure he's not going to be the last, uh, the driver who's in dead last in points at the end of this year. Some really tight racing, just a few rows back of the leaders. James Silver Fox and TJ Dent nearly got, get into one another off of that corner, still side by side with Sawyer Earl, who is insistent on running that outside and trying to get back around the two of them. Uh, Matthew Nicholson up top trying to give, uh, well, trying to make his way forward to the back buffer of Andreas Allen. Four wide behind them uh, with Bill Littlejohn, Sidney Crasta, James O'Shea, uh, and Jose Bautista. Spencer Fullerton takes a look to make it five wide. They're, they're wrecking into turn number one. Bill Littlejohn gets turned around by Sidney Crasta. Really unfortunate for him. Uh, that's the second week in a row that he's gotten turned around and he always seems to do it at the tracks uh, where, he's, where he really has the good experience like these dirt tracks is the 36 of DJ Harris is way out of line for some reason as we make our, ways, uh, our, make our way back to the start finish line. Pace car back in and we're back green flag racing here. T Terrence Day maintains the lead. Zachary Fitzwater immediately got to the outside of Ki uh, Kim Markell but that will not Help, in fact, it may be a detriment as he is alongside with Ty Dent right now. No, he slots back in line in front of the 83. Now might be taking a peek on the 0-2 here into the corner. Yes, he does. Amazing that he got that car to stick down there, trying to get his uh, left tires into that fresher dirt. Get a little bit more grip in that 44. As he travels down the front straightaway, he may get second, and he's right behind the 55. The 55 not, uh, clearly not as dominant as we saw Daniel Voiles be in race number one, at least not yet, of course. Taking a look at the Hornet's Nest now, Johnny Appleseed uh, trying to hold off a charging TJ Dent uh, along the inside. Andreas Allen, really, a uh, really aggressive move down to the inside to sweep, to try and sweep in front of the 13 car, will not be able to do so. Spencer Fullerton continuing his drive towards the front here in that 73, Don Thompson Jr also back here as well. Meanwhile, back up front, the 44 just drove right on by Terrence Day in the number 55, and he will grab the lead for perhaps the first time in his career. So far, it's been a mediocre drive for Jacob Young, who's sitting behind kind of the major rat's nest here. William Duncan having a pretty mad day as per usual. Chris Washer in the five. Back here as well, the 85 of J.R. Fitzpatrick. Uh, Andrew Rick back here as well. Tyler Faber here. B uh, Bill Lildron trying to, struggling to make his way forward. Takes a peek on Matthew Stringer. Not able to get up the inside of Sam Curtis. Squeezes it three wide between the 30 and the 12. That will ruin the 30's plans as he's now stuck in, this, uh, in the same lane as the 87. No, he's still taking a peek. He might make it four wide. Uh, here down the back straightaway. That's exactly what he's doing. A really aggressive move uh, by one of the more experienced drivers in the field, Bill Littlejohn, as he tries to make his way back forward after that early spin. On board Spencer Fullerton off of the corner. Azmir Bejinov dives down to the inside off of that corner, getting a huge run on Ty Dent and going after Richard Trelinski in one fell swoop. Fullerton, as well as Bejinov, have made their way towards the front. A, a pair of veterans quickly driving, uh, uh, driving their way into the top ten. The drivers are having a ton of fun around, around midfield here. Again, three wide. Sam Morrow, uh, James Silverfox, and DJ Curtis uh, going uh, for around 15th place. Sam Morrow here, as well as, well as Jose Bautista. Curtis nearly got into the back end of the 79. He probably did get into the back end of the 79, but at a dirt track, Truxen is normal. Nearly halfway, and things still haven't died down. Got a bit of a rat's nest going on here. As, oh, wow. As the 21 of Sidney Crasta nearly turns the 4 down into the 15 there on the front straightaway. Miraculous save by the 4. Uh, uh, reminds me of uh, Tristan Wilhoyd from race 1 to a certain extent. 
as Cameron Gadu, Andrew Rick, and uh, Jose Bautista race three wide for that position. Jose, Jose Bautista appears to be the big loser on that one. Lead about to change hands, it appears here, as Kim Markell has been lurking on the back end of uh, Zachary Fitzwater the last few laps and has now gotten alongside the 44. As they race side by side, though, they've been, uh, Demir Bejenov has been closing in on the two of them. He appears to have a very competitive car uh, here today, and I wouldn't be surprised at all to see him in victory lane when this thing is over if they keep racing side by side like this. Kim Markell finally sweeps back in, uh, sweeps in front of the 44, and she will take the lead for the first time this race. In nearly exactly the same place as Amin Al Ghul went around in race number one, Trelinski would blow a tire, get into the inside wall. Cameron Gadu gets a little bit of a piece there. Miraculously, everyone gets themselves sorted out and runs along the outside, uh, runs along the outer edge of this course to avoid Trelinski as the caution out, is out for the second time. Pace car is in, and with around 15 to go, Kim Markell's going to lead him back to the line, and there it is, green flag back out, Zachary Fitzwater. Uh, not as good of a start as he got last time. Maybe looking for the inside line here very shortly. Demir Bejenov uh, right on his tail. He might have a shot at this one. Spencer Fullerton has made his way up to fourth in that 73 car. The 55 still inside the top five after his pole uh, starting position early on here. Don Thompson Jr., where the hell did he come from? Earlier, he was in around 26th position, but now he's cracked the top 10 along with Sam Morrow in the 38 car, trying to look on the inside of Andreas Allen and Terence Day. Andreas, is, I believe, is, is another driver who's made his way forward over the course of this race. Uh, here comes Zachary Fitzwater up the inside of the 02 car, trying to reclaim the lead. In that 44 machine, the 13 lurking just behind, looking for somewhere to make his move if things are to go wrong or if they're just a little bit off pace but Spencer Fullerton might get the better of him here as they come down the front straightaway Fitzwater reclaims the lead and it's Fullerton into third in the 73 car he won at Lakewood Speedway earlier in the year would not be surprised to see him do well at another dirt track Markell and Fitzwater appear to be, appear to be extremely evenly matched here as the O2 back along the inside and, it, uh, and Similar to Fitzwater, it's going to take him a couple of laps to get by, but it looks like he might be able to do it. Really had to check up pretty hard there into turn number one, but so did Fitzwater, and the O2 will sweep his way back into the lead. Fitz, uh, Fullerton, unsuccess an unsuccessful move for second there. He may keep at it into this corner if he can. No, Fitzwater back alongside the O2 of Kim Markell. Impressive job by him making that outside groove work. Uh, but Fullerton finally gets by the 44 there in one very well well timed maneuver, and is now right on the tail of the O2. But the 44 is all over the back of him as well, so he's got to he's got to focus both on his on his front and his rear to make sure he stays out of trouble and has the best shot at uh, going for the victory in the final few laps here today. Fitzwater back alongside the 73, looking for second here down. The front straightaway, he'll get it at the line, but can he clear the 73 into the corner? The O2 gets really loose, perhaps because of the 44 just being right there at the perfect spot near his quarter panel, and Fitzwater back into the lead once again. What a career day for that 44 machine, really making himself known in the hard garage as more than just somebody that you see at the tail end of most races. Fullerton uh, looking his way, uh, looking to make his way back up into second and will do so as we cross the start finish line. Around 10 laps to go now. Really exciting race here at the end. Sam Morrow has cracked the top four. He might uh, be a new challenger up at the front here in a few laps. Bejanov might have used up his stuff. He's uh, fallen back to sixth place behind Don Thompson Jr. Fullerton took a look on Fitzwater a couple of laps ago. It was unsuccessful. Fitzwater can really hold his own on the outside through the middle of the corners, but Fullerton keeps getting these excellent runs out of the corners, which he, oh, the best of which he probably just put down right there. 
as he tries to clear the, the 44 through the corner. A little bit worse worse off than normal. The, the Fitzwater had to get on the brakes just a little bit to avoid getting into the outside wall. And Fullerton into the lead with just a few to go here. Jose Bautista, who just sun, very suddenly went up in a huge cloud of smoke. He brings that thing to the outside. And and uh, luckily, I don't, I don't think he's putting down... Uh, too too much oil well it doesn't really matter it's a dirt track anyways uh, you're gonna be sliding around regardless but he will limp back to the pits it appears James O'Shea has had a terrible day he's currently in dead last uh, Jacob Young back here as well Tyler Faber Maxwell Chan having no luck uh, once again James Silver Fox I thought he was making his way to the front earlier on but uh, doesn't appear that he has the turning capacity com to compete with some of the stronger cars and has continuously made his way backwards. J.R. Fitzpatrick has done that as well. Maxwell Chan has gone nowhere as has Sam Curtis. Fitzwater and Markell have fallen to third and fifth respectively. Andreas Allen in between them. Sam Morrow is up into second place. It doesn't look like he's going to have enough time to run down Spencer Fullerton though. Fullerton coming down the, st uh, the front straightaway to get the white flag. Kadu blew a tire a few laps ago, managed to get that thing down pit road. Impressive job by him to not end up like Amin Al Ghul or Richard Trelinski. But it's all about Spencer Fullerton as he comes through turn three and four. Sam Morrow's not going to have enough time to catch him. And Fullerton will get his second uh, victory of this year, both of which coming at dirt tracks. He won at Lakewood uh, for his, round, uh, his race uh, of round number two, and he will return to victory lane here at Indiana State Fairgrounds in race number two. A close second place for the 38, given a few more laps, might have been able to challenge Fullerton for that victory. Did appear to be closing up on the number 73. Of course, the 73 could have just been saving his stuff in, in case there was a final charge there. Fitzwater, it, oh damn it, Ty Dent. Are you serious? That was spectacularly dumb as Dent does exactly what Voiles did in race number one. Don Thompson Jr. with a huge piece of that as well. But as I was saying, Zachary Fitzwater, a solid third place for him. His second best run of the year. Uh, really well deserved for him. He, he led a ton of laps earlier on. Andrew Rick will finish fifth. Uh, Andreas Allen, sorry, I almost forgot about him, will finish fourth. Kim Markell, sixth. Demir Bejinov falls to seventh. Dent will finish 8th, but uh, I'm sure his team's not going to be too happy with him. Don Thompson Jr. ninth, and Sawyer Girl rounds out um, the 10th position.